my date of birth, August 22nd, 1914. I used to uh, be pretty athletic. I belonged to the Y, and I loved basketball and being active. She lived completely independently since my uh, father passed away. And that entailed all the usual things, going to the beauty shop, doing the grocery shopping, taking care of the house. Uh, I've had a little pain. And uh, they think I have a little problem when they examine the heart. She was the first diagnosed with that uh, uh, critical aortic uh, stenosis. After experiencing a couple of series of rather severe chest pains and a couple of trips to the emergency room uh, in order to have any kind of permanent relief, the valve needed to be replaced. So that's why we're here. This is a mechanical problem as the valve closes down, it calcifies, and the, air, the opening your blood gets pumped through goes from essentially something like silver dollar size down to pencil size or pencil lead size. So one of the things that happens is you start getting fatigued, you start getting tired. Uh, eventually you become more short of breath, you don't have any exercise capacity, and you start to be able to do less and less. It is a disease that happens as you get to that age mark and it starts to turn up in your 80s, but it's not like it's a majority of the patients. However, when you have this, it is, in its worst form, is critical aortic stenosis. It's more lethal than the most severe metastatic cancers. So TAVR is transcatheter aortic valve replacement, and the operative word there is really transcatheter. They don't just open your heart. They go up through the vein and and take care of it. How, I don't know that, but uh, that's the way they do it. This is the first time you can replace the aortic valve now with no incisions. We you know, basically go through the femoral artery, and you can do it so that you wind up with no incisions on the chest, no incisions anywhere on the body. Basically, I'm just you know, hoping that uh, with this procedure that's supposed to happen tomorrow, that we get a few extra years to enjoy having her around. These patients are ones who, once this is fixed, they go back to um, remarkable lives. Mrs. Edens is an example of, she is an agile, mobile, 100 years old, and she's a lot healthier than plenty of people we see who are in their late 70s, some even in their 60s or 50s. And we expect that this will add significant quality to the rest of her life. I've had a wonderful life, I've been healthy, you know, I've had a great family, and I've had a good life so far. 